Welcome back to my channel, where we delve into the world of nutrition and health. Today, we are diving into a common debate, whole milk versus skimmed milk. Which one is better for you? In this video, we'll explore the key differences between these two types of milk, their nutritional profiles, and the potential benefits they offer. Throughout this video, we'll explore the benefits and considerations of both whole milk and skimmed milk in greater detail. By the end, you'll have a better understanding of which type of milk aligns with your unique needs and goals. Milk can be a nutritious beverage and can provide several health benefits for many individuals. However, it's important to note that the impact of milk on health can vary depending on factors such as individual tolerance, dietary needs, and overall health condition. The protein found in milk is a complete protein, meaning it contains all the essential amino acids necessary for muscle growth and repair. Protein is important for building and maintaining muscle mass, especially for individuals engaging in physical activity or looking to support their muscle health. The choice between whole milk and skimmed milk depends on various factors, including individual health goals, dietary needs, and preferences. Whole milk contains a higher fat content, typically around 3-4%, compared to skimmed milk. This higher fat content provides essential fat-soluble vitamins like vitamins A, D, A, and K. It also contains higher levels of fat-soluble compounds like conjugated linoleic acid, CLI, which has been associated with potential health benefits. Skimmed milk has had most or all of its fat content removed, typically containing less than 0.5% fat. This makes it significantly lower in calories and saturated fat compared to whole milk. The fat content in whole milk can help increase satiety and provide a richer, creamier taste. This can be particularly appealing to those who enjoy the taste and texture of whole milk. Skimmed milk has lower cholesterol content compared to whole milk, which may be beneficial for individuals who are monitoring their cholesterol levels or have cardiovascular concerns. Due to higher fat content, whole milk is more calorie-dense than skimmed milk. This can be a consideration for individuals who are watching their calorie intake or aiming for weight management. Skimmed milk can be a suitable option for those who want to reduce fat and calories in recipes while still incorporating the benefits of milk. Skimmed milk contains less lactose compared to whole milk, making it a potentially better option for individuals with lactose intolerance. It's important to note that both whole milk and skimmed milk can be part of a balanced diet, and the choice depends on individual circumstances. For individuals with specific dietary needs or health conditions, such as those with cardiovascular concerns or calorie restrictions, skimmed milk may be a more suitable option. On the other hand, if you have no dietary restrictions and enjoy the taste and creaminess of whole milk, it can be included as part of a well-rounded diet. Also, for those who cannot or choose not to consume cow's milk, there are various plant-based milk alternatives available, such as almond milk, soy milk, oat milk, and coconut milk. These alternatives often come fortified with nutrients to match the nutritional profile of cow's milk. Ultimately, the impact of milk on health varies among individuals. If you're considering adding milk to your diet or have specific health concerns, it's best to consult with a healthcare professional or registered dietitian who can provide personalized advice based on your unique needs and circumstances. Thank you for watching video. If you like the video then hit like, share and click on subscribe button and write comment in comment section and press the bell icon for more videos.